In this tutorial, we will take a look at a relatively new state manager for React called Velcio. We will evaluate it from a number of different angles in the different sections of this tutorial and hopefully by the end you will understand why I recommend that you should use it for your next React project. So let's go. We start off with an empty React project and to demonstrate what the requirements should be for a good state manager, we create a reusable component and this component is going to take a number of props. It's going to be an idea component and it takes a value which is going to be what the idea is, an on value change to allow the user to set a new idea and a voting system that includes upvotes, downvotes and overall rating which is going to be upvotes minus the downvotes, an on upvote function to increment the upvotes and an on downvote function to increment the downvotes. And the visuals are going to be provided by the idea component that takes these props and then renders out a UI of a single row that contains an input with wiring to value as well as on value change, a button to allow the user to increment the upvotes, a button to allow the user to increment the downvotes, along with a simple display of the upvote count, the downvote count and the overall rating. And this is exactly what we want a general purpose UI component to be. Within a design system, the lesser the logic, the better. We just want some HTML and CSS wired to some UI elements as well as wired to some functions. But of course, UI is more than some visuals and we would like to have some form of reusable logic to go along with this simple visual component. And React's built-in answer to this is hooks. For example, we can create a use idea hook, which will return these idea props with the correct logic that we expect this component to follow. It maintains the idea value, the upvote count, the downvote count, provides an on upvote and on downvote, as well as the calculated rating, so that we don't have to write this logic again and again every time we want to use the reusable idea component. As an example, we can jump into our app, bring in that reusable idea component, bring in that use idea hook that we just saw, and then create two states, one for idea one, one for idea two, and then wire them to two instances of the idea component. The first one, of course, wide to idea one, and the second one wide to idea two. Now having access to this state outside of the idea component means that we can add additional logic as well. For example, if there is a requirement to demonstrate the total number of votes, we have that state available within our app in idea one and the idea two states. And if you run this demo, this is what the UI will look like. We have two ideas and we can set the values to be whatever we want. And then we can set upwards as well as downwards by clicking the up and the down buttons. And you can see the total votes incrementing as we interact with the different buttons. Now React hooks are a great abstraction to have for sure, however they suffer from one critical issue. Within a function render, you can only have a predetermined number of hook calls. You cannot have the number of calls be dynamic. That breaks React's rules of hooks. Which means that if you wanted the user to add more ideas dynamically, you wouldn't be able to do that using the use idea abstraction. Now surprisingly, this embedding of reusable pieces of logic in other pieces of logic is not something that is supported natively, by a number of third-party state management libraries as well. For example, it is not possible within Redux to take a store and embed it as a part of another store. Now this of course is going to be possible in Veltio as we will see soon. And once you've seen it, feel free to challenge yourself and implement something this nice in a, your state management library of choice. Now Veltio comes as a simple install. You simply run npm i Veltio. No need to install Velcho React or anything like that. It is something that is made for React. And as you can see, it is really light and installs very fast. Now, before we continue, I want to point out that Velcho is something that works on the concept of proxies and snapshots. Proxies is something that wraps an object and this allows Velcho to know if any of the properties on this particular object get modified. And the snapshot is what we use within our React render. And that way, if any of the properties that we modify on the proxy, Velcio knows which component within React needs to re-render and this way you get optimized re-renders within React without having to do any of the use selector magic that you might have to do with other state management libraries. With the installation out of the way, let's create a reusable state for a single idea. We bring in the idea props and then from Velcio we bring in this function called proxy with computed. This is the function that we will use to create our proxy. Now Velcio provides a more bare proxy function as well, but within our state, we can actually create a rating as a computed property. And here we have the entire logic for the state that we want to be reusable, that is giving us those idea props that that particular component wants. Note that we did not have to modify a component in order to create reusable props with Velcio. 
Now, one more thing that I want to point out over here is the duality that we mentioned between proxies and snapshots. Proxy with computed is returning the proxy that we are storing in state. And whenever we need to make a modification, we make that modification to the proxy. For example, in on value change, we modify state dot value. And whenever we read values, for example, in the computed property rating, we are reading that value from the snapshot that gets passed into computed members. This way, whatever is reading a rating from the snapshot will get notified if we modify the upvotes or the downvotes. Now let's reuse this state within our app. We bring in the use snapshot function from Velchio, which we will use within the rendering of our component. And then we bring in this create idea state that we just wrote. Now with Velchio, you can create your state wherever you want. For example, we can store it in a use ref inside of component or even create it globally. Here we've created two state variables, idea1 and idea2, and we've done that globally. And if you were to export it, we could actually use this anywhere in other portions of our application as well. And one more neat thing about Velchio is that you can actually use this state without having the need to set up any providers. For example, we can use it directly within our app using that use snapshot hook that Velchio provides. This takes a proxy and returns us a snapshot. And whenever we want to reach something, we read that from the snapshot. And as you mentioned, any modifications need to happen on the proxy, which we've neatly abstracted into our proxy functions like on value change. So these idea one snaps and idea two snaps are perfectly ready to be used within the idea component, just like we were doing previously with simple use idea hooks. And we can add any additional logic using these snapshots as well. For example, we can show the total number of votes as the sum of the votes of idea one snap plus idea two snap. And in terms of functionality, you can see that it is exactly the same as we saw previously when we were implementing this logic using hooks. Now we've actually already got one nice advantage out of Velcho and that is our state is independent of React, which means that we can actually even test it without React and we will look at this form of testing in a bit. But an additional feature that happens when you move your state out of React is that we can actually use the state anywhere within our application without having to resort to something like context. And now the next thing that I want to cover with Velcho is the fact that this state composes nicely as well, which is something that is quite difficult with some of the other state managers. Let's tackle that problem that we cannot solve using React hooks, that is having a dynamic number of user controlled ideas. We bring in the idea props, which will be the state for an individual idea, and we will create the state using the create idea state proving true reuse. And this particular state will not have anything computed, so we can use that simple proxy function from Velcio. We create a type to represent what we are looking for. Now creating these type shape types is actually not required by Velcio and we will actually not use this with Velcio. We will let Velcio infer the actual type and just ensure that whatever it infers conforms to this particular structure. This is actually to prove that Velcio works very nicely with TypeScript. Now our create ideas state is something that's going to return this type. And within the body, we use the proxy function to create a simple object. Ideas is simply an array where we create an idea state. Add idea is something where we create a new idea state and push it to the existing ideas. And in remove idea, we pop the last idea that was added, unless it's the only one remaining because we want to make sure that there is always one good idea. And then finally, just like before, we return the proxy that we've just created. Now we can initialize our idea state anyway, but let's just create it within this module, treating it more of like a global app state. Now, before we leave this file, I want to once more point out the nice reusability we got out of the create idea state function, we didn't have to modify it in order to compose it into an array for a higher level state. And now of course we can use it anywhere within React, for example, within an empty app, we bring in the use snapshot function from Belchio, we bring in this single instance of idea state, and then utilize this within our app component. Of course, first passing it through the use snapshot hook, which is our tie-in from any global store into React's brain. And now we can create two nice buttons, which we can wire to the snapshot add idea as well as remove idea, followed by a loop where we iterate over the individual ideas in the snapshot and simply pass them into the reusable idea component. And just as a demo, we can add that nice total vote count as well, where we use a simple reduce over the ideas to figure out the total sum of the upvotes and the downvotes. And there we have it, a nice demonstration of reusable components and reusable state, which we can compose to our heart's content. We can add five ideas and then set their values to whatever we want them to be and then play around with the upvotes and the downvotes and everything works exactly how you would expect.
Now, one more feature that sets Belchu apart is how easy it makes testing your application logic in isolation. First, let's create a test to ensure that our individual idea states function the way that we expect them to. We bring in that create idea state function, which represents a single idea, and then write a number of tests. For example, it should have the default values. We can change the value and the value truly changes. And then we can play around with the upvote and the downvote and ensure that the upvote count, the downvote count, as well as the rating is exactly how we would expect it to be. Notice that in our tests, we do not need the use snapshot hook and we can do all of our testing directly on the proxy because re-rendering of tests is not something that makes sense. Additionally, having our tests independent of React means that anybody who is familiar with any form of JavaScript testing can pick up testing Velcho quite easily. Now, the other piece of stateful logic that we have within our application is the create ideas function, which manages multiple ideas. And we create a test file for that, just like we did for the individual idea state. And within this test, we bring in the create ideas state function and ensure that its functionality is correct. That is when we create it, it has one idea to begin with. When we add an idea, we have two ideas. And when we add an idea, remove two ideas, we still have one idea because we always ensure that there's always one good idea. And that's it. As you can see with Welchio, testing your stateful logic is quite simple. It doesn't have to be as complicated as it is in other frameworks. And if you open up the terminal and execute npmt, all of the tests pass. And as you can see, they run quite blazing fast. Now, one more concern that you might have with Welchio is how well does it perform? So we've done some testing. A good way to measure performance is to measure it against something that you know to be good. And we know MobX to be good so what we did is we rendered UI that would dynamically change every half a second containing 10,000 rows of data. And in terms of performance, it performs very similar to MobX, as you can see from the different screenshots. And to be honest, most of this work is happening within React, not within the state management. Now we've covered a lot of positives of Velcio, but of course, nothing is perfect. So let's take a look at some of its negatives. First up, it's modern. Now, modern might mean a bad thing a few years ago, but when we're talking about modern with Welchio, it is using proxy and it is using weak map. And these things at this particular point in time have been supported even by Safari since 2016. They are usable by at least 95% of users according to Can I Use. And in 2016, that's when the iPhone 6s came out. The second thing to watch out for is that it's not that popular and that is to be expected when you are the new kid on the block. So once again, I'm asking for your support. Use this in your projects. Share this video. Let me know how it goes. Let's make state management simple again. Thank you for watching till the end. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to go to bed and you should do the same if you are tired. But if you want to play around with the code, you can check the link in the video description pointing to GitHub. And I'll see you in the next one.